all right so hello everybody today we'll be learning about how you will be creating this n n agent that can actually scrape all the businesses that you have listed on google maps so as an example if we just search for restaurants in bangalore we would be able to see so many restaurants here and then uh, after this what will happen is that uh, once we run this agent this will gather the list of all the businesses which are listed on google maps and then store it in this uh, Google sheet that you have created. Moving on. So the first node that you see here is a telegram node. Uh, you can probably put anything here. It could be a manual trigger, a WhatsApp message or anything else. I'll just show you how it works for, uh, via the telegram trigger and uh, post that we can uh, then see how we can plug in other things here as well. So let's say I message uh, maybe salons in Bangalore. This let's start our workflow. And so yeah, this is our Excel sheet as well, which is completely blank right now. I'll execute the workflow. You see that the nodes have started running. Yeah, this HTTP request takes a bit of time because again, it has to scrape some data from the Google API and yes now we should be able to see some data within our google sheets so it's still writing the data and yes so we see that uh, right now it has picked up five uh, first salons from the data that is scraped and it has listed all of them here we can add in more details here uh, i'll walk you through the details once we go in so uh, moving on, so let's start creating it from scratch. The first node would be a manual trigger node. Which one is this? Yep. And we'll have an input message here, which would basically be our search query. Yep. Uh, let's say the first one is a business that we want to search for which is uh, let's say a restaurant and then the next query would be the location where you want to search for and we are searching for restaurants in Bangalore all right so this query is set save it and come back now the next node here would be the HTTP node this one here uh, the method would be get and the URL so we'll be scraping the details using the API from the Appify store come to Appify here you will have all different sorts of APIs we'll be using the Google Maps crawler we'll go to the API API endpoints and then come to the section where it says run actor synchronously and get data set items copy it and then just paste it in the URL here once you have pasted it, uh, enable the send body button and then in the specify body, uh, just mention using JSON. This JSON again, you have to come back to Appify, click here and then you would just copy and paste this JSON in NAT. And once you have it here, in the location part, just remove the location which is already there and then put the location that you were entering. So, all right, I'll have to change it to an expression field. Just a second, yeah. So, yeah, now the location I need to change it to this location. And then there is a search string array. Remove the restaurant from here and add your business. All right, let's execute this. Now, it should actually give us, uh, I think, it has close to or oh, it will search for around 50 restaurants right now let's change it to five so in the next iteration it will only search for five restaurants so it has given us a list of 50 restaurants scraped from google right away and once we have this uh, so what we observe here is that we have a lot of details about uh, the business that we are searching for we have the title price category name and 10 other things but we actually don't require everything so let's actually take in the details that we need using the split out node. Once we have it here, let's drag in the things that we need. We need the title. 
and then we need the address and then we need the phone number and post that we probably need let's say just let's say, just take the search term which was the business so yeah we have it here execute and now you would be able to see that from that exhaustive list of uh, things that it was already giving from the Google Maps API, it would just filter out these four things and give you as an output. Let's wait for some time because uh, again, we have 50 items, so it will take some time. So yeah, it is returned with title, address, and the phone number. All right, so moving on, here uh, now the last node here would be the google sheet node you can probably store it anywhere you want but for this session let's use google sheets uh, and we'll set a trigger to append a row in a sheet now we have selected this node and here from the documents you'll have to probably create a list first i'll probably delete all of this which was already there and then uh, you should have these columns also the title phone number address website and the search term so we have website also here let's actually go back and add the website to phone and website where is the website <laughs> Okay, uh, I can't find the website right now. Let's actually delete that column from here. Yeah, going back, uh, all right. So we need to connect our Google Sheet right now. The Google Sheet name is business leads and then the sheet name is sheet one. You can connect your uh, Google account here. Once you connect it, it will show the sheets which are there in a tag to your Google account specifically. And it has also fetched the four columns which were there. So within title, we'll put title. And then within the address, we'll put address. In the phone number, we'll put the phone number. And in the search term, we will put the business here. Yeah. And let's execute this. Now once we execute if you go back to the google sheet we have all of this here okay the phone number is not coming correctly let us fix this so usually with the phone numbers there is a plus sign because of the country code so we'll just add an apostrophe uh, or else you can also change the column format within your google sheet so now if you go uh, you have the corrected phone numbers along with the title address and the search term subscribe if you liked it